Till now we have completed four properties of Fourier series expansion and in this presentation we will understand time shifting and frequency shifting properties. So let's move to the fifth property which is time shifting property and like previous cases we will consider a signal xt and let's say its complex exponential Fourier coefficient is equal to cn and its time period is equal to t naught and we know the formula to calculate cn cn is equal to 1 over t naught integration 0 to t naught signal xt multiplied to e power minus jn omega naught t dt and as we are discussing time shifting property we need to perform the time shifting operation so we will perform the time shifting operation on signal xt and after shifting we have xt minus t naught as the new signal and in this particular case we are performing the right shifting here we have t minus t naught this implies we are performing the right shifting you can also perform the left shifting and you will have t plus t naught here and once we have the final result we will generalize it for the left shifting as well and as the signal is only shifting towards the right there is no compression or expansion of the signal time period and angular frequency will not change so there is only change in signal xt and because of this we will have a new Fourier coefficient and we will call it c n dash so c n dash is equal to 1 over t naught integration 0 to t naught in place of xt we will write xt minus t naught xt minus t naught multiplied to e power minus jn omega naught t dt now we will consider t minus t naught to be equal to tau so let's say t minus t naught is equal to tau and this implies very small t is equal to very small tau now we will change the range of integration here the variable is t and for that the range of integration is 0 to t naught but now we want the variable to be tau so we will change the range of integration when t is equal to 0 from here you can see tau is equal to minus t naught Similarly, when t is equal to t naught, we will get tau equal to t naught minus t naught. So we have the new range of integration and now we will integrate according to the new changes. So we have c n dash equal to 1 over t naught integration from minus t naught to t naught minus t naught signal x tau in place of t minus t naught we are writing tau so we have x tau here and after this we have e power minus j n omega naught t but in place of t we will write tau plus t naught so here we have tau plus t naught and in place of dt we will write d tau and we already know in the formula of complex exponential Fourier coefficient we integrate over one time period and here also we are integrating over one time period you can easily check it by subtracting the lower limit from the upper limit you will get t naught so on replacing the independent variable from t to tau the time period will not change and now we will move to the next step and in this step we will open this bracket and we will separate the exponentials so we have c and dash equal to 1 over t naught integration minus t naught to t naught minus t naught signal x tau multiplied to e power minus j n omega naught tau multiplied to e power minus j n omega naught t naught d tau and if you see this exponential here you will find it is constant with respect to tau there is no term of tau in this exponential therefore it is constant with respect to tau and we are integrating with respect to tau therefore we will take it out of the integration so we have c n dash equal to e power minus j n omega naught t naught multiplied to 1 over t naught 
integration minus t naught to t naught minus t naught signal x tau e power minus j n omega naught tau d tau and if you look closely you will find 1 over t naught integration minus t naught to t naught minus t naught x tau e power minus j n omega naught tau d tau is nothing but c n in place of t we have written tau which will not change the result of integration so we are having c n here and c n is multiplied to e power minus j n omega naught t naught where t naught is the amount by which we are performing the shifting operation we had x t minus t naught so the amount by which we are performing the integration will come here and this negative sign will reflect here so if we perform the left shifting if we perform the left shifting this means if we have x t plus t naught this implies c n will change to e power plus j n omega naught t naught multiplied to c n so this is known as the time shifting property of Fourier series whenever you perform the shifting operation you will have this extra exponential term t naught will indicate the amount by which you are performing and the sign here will indicate the left and right shifting so we will generalize it here also we will have plus minus so this is all for the fifth property and now we will move to the sixth property which is frequency shifting and to understand the frequency shifting we will proceed in the same way we will consider there is a signal xt whose complex exponential Fourier coefficient is cn and the period is equal to t naught and we know the formula of cn it is equal to 1 over t naught integration 0 to t naught signal xt e power minus jn omega naught t dt and now we will perform the frequency shifting we are having the coefficient cn and after shifting we are having cn minus m and as the coefficient is changed we have a new signal and let's call the new signal xt dash and we need to find the new signal so let's quickly modify this formula for cn minus m we will have 1 over t naught integration 0 to t naught signal xt multiplied to e power minus j n minus m in place of n we will have n minus m omega naught t dt now we will separate the exponentials so we have c n minus m equal to 1 over t naught integration 0 to t naught xt multiplied to e power jm omega naught t multiplied to e power minus jn omega naught t dt and if you compare this result with the standard formula you will find xt multiplied to e power jm omega naught t is the signal giving us complex Fourier coefficient cn minus m so this signal here is x t dash which we required to find so the frequency shifting property is very simple whenever there is shifting in frequency cn is changing to cn minus m this signal will get multiplied by e power jm omega naught t where m is the amount by which you are performing the shifting operation so this is all for the frequency shifting property i will quickly write down the conclusion if we are having xt multiplied to e power jm omega naught t this means we are having cn minus m as the coefficient because here m is the amount by which the frequency shifting is taking place so this is the property remember this and i think this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will deal with next two properties